If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my hand Lost in my head, pull me back to bed Oh, oh, when I feel like I got nothing left I got, I got you Welcome to our YouTube channel where the rejected stone has to become the chief cornerstone. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed. Thank you for the support. We thank you for the love that you've given for unto us. We really appreciate for that. So today, I'm all alone. I want us to have a conversation. A one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys. I want us to talk about schooling or rather um, the life of schooling. I want us to relate to our lives where we feel like there's something that went wrong that can pass onto uh, our children that may affect. So I'll start by talking about finances. So when I talk about finances, what I try to mean is that there's a time all of us pray for good life. We always pray for finances. There's no one who doesn't pray about finances. All of us pray about finances, and everyone prays that you to get. Everyone prays prays to get a lot of finances so that they can give their children or their kids a good life or a good future, a good education, good good food, good clothing, good shelter and everything. So once you've been blessed with the finances, let's talk about let's talk of a situation about whereby you are in a situation where you you are a bit lower, let me not say poor, but poor is a bad word to use let me say like you are a bit lower financially and then now you you pray to god god blesses you or you work hard and god blesses you with so much finances and now you have to you you now get enough finances and you decide that you want to make to give your children a good education or a good lifestyle but then the problem that we usually have as human beings is that once we get the finances you've been in a lower stage you get the finances you want to put yourself in a stage or in a page that you do not fit yet yes you've gotten the finances but you do not fit in that stage because everything comes in comes in step by step you have to train yourself you have it's like it's for example i can use the example of going to a hotel for or to a five star hotel you are used to this uh, this small uh, they they refer to as kibandaski and now you go to a five-star hotel where you have to use a fork, a spoon, a, a knife. You don't know how to use it. You because you've gotten enough money, you go there. You you don't know how to eat with them. The forks are falling down. The spoons are falling down. The knives are falling down, and all that. All that is just a matter of them. A matter of shame. So that's how I'm putting it into education. Sometimes we get money so that we can finance our children to go to school. For a situation, let me use an example of my own life. Like for example, like. Uh, in my previous life 
we used to have, we used to be in a, a humble beginning. We used to have a, a very humble life. That time, God hasn't uh, had not yet blessed my parents that much that we should, we could we could say that uh, we had enough money that could sustain our good education or something like that. Everyone starts from a scratch. It's called from grass to grass. So. I, 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 I used to learn in a primary school, the public primary school, where if you remember those days, if you are someone of the 90s, you, you understand that you used to learn uh, English, you learn Kiswahili, and you learn plus your mother tongue. So that is the kind of lifestyle I had. So I, I used to, I learned there until I think it was class two. From class two now, my parents were blessed. They took me to a, just a small academy that was coming up. And now in the academy, at least it was just coming up, so it wasn't that uh, that I can say, okay, it's so much, it's it's on another le another bigger level. No, it was just almost from the primary school that I was learning, so that did not affect me so much. But now where the problem started, or where the rain started beating me, is where I had to come out from that academy and now go to a more complex academy, whereby the, the life the the life of the kids were in that school is on another level. Uh, the children, the children know all kinds of cartoons. They can sing to all songs of the cartoons. Children know all types of dancing styles. Children know all types, all as in British English is of not of top notch. So I remember this is I'm a young girl from a primary school where the only language that is perfect in my mouth is mother tongue because you are taught English, Kiswahili, and mother tongue. And now here, you, your parents have gotten some little money. They have taken you to a better school, being having the fact that I was the last born, and now. They wanted to give me the best life that, the best at least the best education that these other these other brother, siblings of mine had not did not get. So I'm in this academy. I'm, I'm from a, a humble background. I don't know anything. There's no television where you could say you could watch cartoon and sing to all those songs of all those songs of cartoons. There's no music that you could sing about apart from the music from church. There's no uh, which is mother tongue. There's no. Um, how can I say it? Dancing. Well, we could do dance, dancing styles, different dancing styles that you, when you watch on television, you, you see how people shake their bodies. And, eh. and now you're, you're in this situation. You are from somewhere that you, But then it forces you that you have to fit in this, in this class. Because for you not to look like an old and out, you have to fit in this class whereby you have to fit. You have to do what these other people are doing. And these people, these kids, are, uh, they are used to that lifestyle. They were born in that lifestyle, so it's part of them. But now you, from a humble background, you have to insert it inside you and do on how they are doing so that you cannot be, you cannot be outside of what, of what the culture of that school is doing. And I think that is where the rain started beating. Because when I was in my primary school, there's no day on closing day that I could not win something that I, 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 I had passed my exams well, that I used to be given plates, cups, pencils. Yes, there's no day that I could go home without anything. There was always a present for me because I used to work very well in school. But then when I went to this academy, I'm trying to fit in. I'm not of that, I'm not of that caliber, but now I have to fit in. So you get, other than the education that you have to learn, there are a lot of things that your mind is, has to run very fast so that you can cope up with what is going on. So what, what, are, what, are, what am I really trying to put across is that sometimes where we fail, as young parents, all of us, are, there's, all of us wish to have parents apart from the few probably who have their own, issue, any, own issues on why they don't, they don't want to be parents. But when you talk about education, there's something that you can do to your kids. You know, sometimes we always say that, oh, there's a relative or there's a friend who can tell you, you have to take your kids to a better school, an international school or an academy or what, what. Considering that you now want to fit into their class, you now remove your kids from this, from this level of yours. You want to take them to another level. You have to know the consequences. First, first of all, the consequences. You are not of the same caliber. You are not of the same, all, the same background. But it's because you want to fit in that, in that same class of which you want to stay in. That's where you decide that you have to move your children from a humble background school to a, a, to a better background school. Sometimes it's a, it adds advantage. If it's at a younger state, it adds advantage. But sometimes it, it spoils. Because now this is this is a humble child that uh, the mind the mind hasn't grown so much. She is very innocent. She goes and gets kids who are very overactive. They have seen a lot of things. Their financial status is on another level. They have experienced a lot of things, and now you expect this child to fit in that level. What what I'm trying to put across is that as young young parents, upcoming parents, young parents. Sometimes we have to learn from our mistakes. Yes, our parents never did a mistake. On another level, they knew that they were, they were offering the best, the best for us. But then, on the other hand, it was affecting you as a child. 
So we only, as the young parents, we have to learn from that mistake. You don't have to force yourself in a situation that you know cannot does not fit you. You cannot fit in that situation. Yes, you've been blessed. Your financial your financial status has moved from another level to another level. But it does not mean that you just have to shoot and do extraordinary things that other people are doing. No. There are people who are born in those situations. There are those children who are born in those uh, rich families. They know they know a lot of things. That, that, that they, they have been opened up to so many things. But now you from a humble background. Your child is very enclosed. He's naive. She, has not, she or he has not been exposed to so many things. And now you are taking this child to be exposed to so many things. So there, there are a lot of things that have to run in this child's mind. So sometimes that's where some, some of us go wrong. And that is something that I just wanted at least we can have a conversation in the comment section. You can tell, you can talk about your story, you see, in your education life. Where did the, start, the rain start raining on you? Where did uh, everything start going wrong? What happened? What do you think that your parents did? They, they knew they were, have, they were offering the best for you. But on the other side, maybe it was failing on your side or it wasn't working on your side. Or, you know, one, the main thing is just that we don't have to repeat the same thing to our kids. We have to move, we, we have to move on level, we have to levelize ourselves on how we have to move from one level to another. Not just shooting from one level, you've shot, now you, you have enough money, you've shot from another level, it affects your kids. You, 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 you say, we always say that we are doing it for our kids. We are offering the best that we, we did not get to our kids. But sometimes you have to sit down and think about it and ask yourself, if I'm offering the best, is this the best for my children? Is it affecting them in any way? Is it like now in, in, the, in the before life, our parents did not, did not nurture anything like talent. Like because I, I remember I used to like dancing. But now when my parents, when, when my mom could see me dancing, eh, it could be another story, playing volleyball. I used to play volleyball, but you come home with a certificate, you'll say whether she took you to school to play volleyball or she took you to school to learn. That is one thing. Or she comes to school visiting you, she finds that you're not there, you've gone for games, you'll have to explain. And those are the same things that are giving people money nowadays. Because if you have to nurture your kid's talent, look at your kid's talent and know what do they love doing. If it's, if it's dancing, dancing nowadays, it gives people a lot of finances. Playing games. I see a lot of volleyballers, basketballers, footballers earning money from, from, from those small things. Because, yes, you can learn. You can focus on learning. You go for your courses. You say, the way we usually say, we used to say, oh, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a journalist, I want to be a doctor, I want to be... Nowadays, in this life we are living, if you, if you want to, you, you've studied to be a doctor, if you don't have finances capital to open your own hospital, where will you be employed? Not unless you are lucky enough. If you are a pilot, how many planes are in this world that you, you will have to fly so that you, you, you say that you, what you studied is what you are doing? They are not, they are, they are not, there are no enough aeroplanes that can be flied with all these pilots that are learning. Not unless you have money to buy your own airplane and, and fly it along. So there are so many things. Not unless are teachers. There are a lot of teachers who, there are a lot of teachers who have studied. They don't have jobs. Others don't even have the, I don't know, it's TSC or what numbers. They don't have jobs. If you don't have finances to open your own school, where will you teach? So if, if we don't focus on the culture of bringing up our children's talents, focusing on what does my child love doing? What does my child like doing? You focus on the talents. You bring up the talents. You understand if it's dancing, if it's singing, emulate it before it's too old. Teach them on how, take them to trainings. Nowadays, nowadays I see that there are, small, there are tra trainings for little kids from the word go. Like I was in my sister's graduation the previous day and I saw a young boy, three years, do, be, do, is, 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 playing drums. And it was a big shock because all those drums, I three years, it's, it's a no joke. But then at least the parent has emulated the fact that this is a talent. And schools, also you get a school that can emulate that talent, can bring up that child in the talent way. So that this child can know, no, this is, a, this is what I know to do. This is, you know, talent is inbuilt. It's not something that you can learn from something or for someone. Or hobbies are the ones you can learn from, you can emulate. But talents... Talents is something that is inborn. And if you don't get support, or if you don't get someone who can, who can make you come up, the, bring the talent up in a good way, and that is, I think it's not working in any way. Because there's a problem with us who, who, who the, we were the African parents in that period. 
they never knew what is a talent or what is a music, what is what. But nowadays, at least, we have to emulate. We have to nurture our children. They need to know their talents. You have to understand. You have to know that what I'm doing has to be bringing a positive impact to my child. Not, not creating, not making, bringing, as in building your name, saying, okay, yes, I have finances, I can do this, and yet you can do this for my kids, and yet you are doing it, and it's impacting a negative impact on the child. So that is one thing we should, that, that's one conversation that I just wanted to share with you. And we can communicate in the comment section. Let us talk, let us see what we can talk about next time. I hope this, this information has helped one or two persons there. There are people, probably, someone who was in the same situation that I was in, at least we can communicate. Let us communicate in the comment section and see what we can do about it. Thank you for those who have watched. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for your support, for your love. For those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you. Bye. So cut. Hi, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Tunawapenda. We are back again with a very good and awesome content. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you know, also follow us in our official site. Instagram is Ben Lizzy. Ben Lizzy, Lizzy is the, with the Z tattoo. B E N L I Z Z Z Y. Ben Lizzy. Also, TikTok, you follow my app, BenLizzy05. Please, guys, we appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, may God bless you. Cha -cha. Love you. feel like breaking down, ooh, you'd be there to hold my head. Lost in my head, pull me back to bed, oh, oh. When I feel like I got nothing left, I got, I got you. I got, I got you I got, I got you, oh, oh.